And today, you remember their political journey. Today, I said, I'm better them. Who helped them is, may not be a good man. Arithmia Mechi is not a good man, even his wife, too. Those who used to cook for them. Peter Dilly is no longer their overall leader, no longer a good person. Amechi is no longer a good person. His friend, Andrew Bai, is no longer a good person. So keep on, all of them are no longer a good, 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 uh, good people. I don't want to share with them. Uh, 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 you them. Uh, I you back. Everybody, Okowa, they're no longer his friends. Pasek is no longer his friends. Everywhere from entering trouble. The, the, the Jonathans and their wife, no longer good people. Tambo are no longer a good person. Me, no longer a good person. Mr. President, watch all he's saying about everybody and what he's doing to everybody. You will not be an exceptional. When did you meet him? It's now three people that we can fear for Nigeria right now. Three people that we can fear. Governor Baseki, Governor Sinfubara, and this guy, this man, this young guy, Ugo Chinere. See, this Ugo Chinere, in the give we can, it's a cure we can on his stead. It's a cure we can, and they, in the tell. President Tinubu said, this wicked don't fight all the friends. Everybody will not help them for life. Say so wicked don't fight them. Say so that Tinubu be the next. This guy, eh? See, you let wicked open mouth reply Ugo Chiniri. Very tested as of friend member. Tested. Watch what he talk about wicked. He finish work and he finish wicked. It is worrying. That your cabinet minister and his supporters is coordinating institutions of state to undermine this Supreme Court judgment. Why do they want to worsen the hardship of the people of River State, whom they claim to love, by attempting to scuttle the election so that the state will not receive allocation? This is the story the people at River State know about your supporters, and we wonder how this will translate into a positive reception for you. Mr. President, Nigerians are asking, why is it now only supporters of your FCT minister who claim to support you, but they don't want the local government election that you are fighting for the country? Every other Nigerian leader wants local government election in their state for the good of their people, but he does not like it. If you remember the peace accord you have with them that they signed, which was signed by the governor, signed by the FCT minister, signed by Nuri Badu, uh, a lot of other stakeholders. What was one of the last clause in that agreement? There should not be a caretaker committee for the local government in River State. There must be democratic election. They were the one who asked for it. You gave it to them. Election is about to hold again. They ran to court. Tenure of elected local government chairman were expired. They made a law in the night in one two bedroom in Emboha and said, elected local government chairman whose tenure have expired cannot stay in office forever because pro wicked group wants it. Look at the kind of strange things that are doing to our laws and people are keeping quiet. Mr. President, we believe it is time you call your FCT minister to order. They waited for you to head to London and they started this. It is time to call him to order. Recall that even before the landmark Supreme Court judgment, there was the River State Peace Accord, which I have said before, where the conduct of local government election was one of the agreed terms. What has changed now that those who pretend then to be pursuing for election are now swearing that the election will not hold? They pulled out of the election. And now you are protesting on the street. Election will not ask who? That's who are you? You say the election you are pulling out, you are not participating. And then you turn back and say you should not hold. So it's all about anarchy and crisis. Let me at this point, on behalf of the opposition coalition, salute His Excellency Governor Sam Fubara. You are a hero. In the face of this daunting, state-sponsored offensive against constitutional governance and your people. You have shown leadership. You have kept vigil, proving that eternal vigilance is the key to eternal freedom. Nigerian people are so proud of what you have done. Nigerian people know that you are the one on the receiving end of all this madness for a long time. Whatever you do, the people will always stand with you. Because we know, even without you telling us, the character of people you are dealing with, you formed a government. 99% of the commissioners were brought by 
Yes, on weekend. And the governor. Tomorrow they say you don't like peace. Who on earth in Nigeria today? Tell me one governor that tolerates that, or that happens in his state. All local government chairmen, they brought. All House of Assembly, they brought, including the principal officers. When they sit and when they don't sit, they direct them. Chief of staff, they brought their relatives. SSG, they brought. Principal secretary, they brought. Accountant general, they brought. Companies, they brought, were collecting revenue. The state, we are banking with the banks they chose. Every Thursday, Friday, they leave Abuja and come to the state and sit on your head. Some approvers cannot go without them. So the question is, with all these things, what could have led this man now to suddenly want to bring down that state, even when they were the ones who are controlling those things? Suddenly, now you're not a good man because you don't want to give them your life or your kidney. Also, it's very important that I give this advice. This is an advice. There's nothing happening in River State that has anything to do with the interests of the sitting president. It's about the interests of Nelson Wicke, which he thinks can be elevated to constitutional interest, which he thinks can be elevated to democratic interest, which he thinks can be elevated to judicial interest. Our laws will be changed because of him. Our democratic process will be changed because of him. Our police force will work out for him. And I'll ask the question, as who? As who? So we have pampered this thing over the time. Everybody is rolling his sleeve. Everybody. Nigerians have had enough. And those who are doing this are not helping the government. There's economic crisis in the land. There's threat of plotters and violence in different parts of Nigeria. And those who say they're working for the president is inflaming everywhere, trying to pursue things that is unconstitutional. When that crisis ignites, how does that help the president? Tell me how. And that's why I said I'm not working for him. And today, you remember their political journey. Today, I thought I'm better them. Who helped them is, may not be a good man. Ritmi Amechi is not a good man, even his wife, too. Those who used to cook for them. Peter Dele is no longer their overall leader, not only a good person. Amechi is no longer a good person. His friend, Andrew is no longer a good person. The keyboard, all of them are no longer a good, 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 uh, good people. And the more the sheriff them, uh, 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 you them, uh, Atiku Abaka, everybody, Okowa them, they're no longer his friends. Paseki, no longer his friends. Everywhere from anything trouble. The, the, the Jonathans and their wife, no longer good people. Tambu are no longer a good person. Me, no longer a good person. Mr. President, watch all he's saying about everybody and what he's doing to everybody. You will not be an exceptional. When did you meet him? You met him after Atiku defeated him out of frustration he ran to you. Be careful. Because when he will tell us your own story, just be very careful. Protect yourself while you are using him for what he's doing, you know. Even though you know, I know you are very smart, that what he's doing, he's doing it because he wants rivers. Not for you. Well, be careful. For your own good. Because he wants to tell your own story based on what he's seeing now. Look at everybody from beginning to the end. He has one negative story about them. I even had today, even his friend, Adoko, is no longer with him. That's not what Adoko did for him. So, let his personal interests be separated from your government. Because rivers people will defend their government and their right to constitutionalism. No apologies about that. That's why they are on the streets now as I speak, to defend it. And there's opposition coalition who are called. All of us want Nigeria to move through, through this trying moment. But we cannot collaborate with you if those working for you is undermining us. Then we have to roll our sleeves and severe our relationship completely.